Hey guys, you guys might have seen this triangle before, but usually ed comms and medical schools look for two out of the three for an applicant, and leadership is always encouraged in any one of these three categories. Today I'm just going to be talking about some research. You can do research in college in any field, really. You can do it in economics, business, but biomedical sciences are usually more applicable to medical school. So you can do research on signaling pathways, protein complexes, receptors, or you could even do something more on the psychology side. You could, for example, I did sleep research, um, eyewitness testimony research, mood and cognition research, and I really liked it. I thought it was really interesting, and I didn't really like the whole pipetting thing, looking at a whole Western blot. I wasn't really a fan of any of that lab stuff. And so I did psych research in college, and I didn't get published, but Ideally, you want to get published, you want to have a meaningful part in a project. And if you don't do traditional research, you can still get involved in papers. You can go up to professors and ask them if they're working on any review papers. Case reports are kind of smaller. They're like one specific patient comes in, he's got strange symptoms that doesn't really align with the literature. So the physician and somebody else, maybe a student, are going to work together, talk about it, see what they did, and submit it for a journal. As far as how to search out these opportunities, there's internships online for research opportunities, but you can also just go to office hours with a professor, talk to them, get to know them, and then maybe eventually ask them the question, hey, I want to be involved with research. Now, how do you do leadership when it comes to research? Well, I can give you an example. I was involved with sleep research in college. And my sophomore year, I was like, hey, Dr. Professor, Let's do a sleep study on melatonin. There's a lot of problems with people sleeping. Melatonin is very common. So I kind of created the idea, pitched it toward did some research on the literature out there. And then we came up with a study design protocol, submitted to the IRB together, and then eventually it got started and it's a sleep study. So there's different ways you can do leadership. You can create the study, you can work on the IRB process, you can teach other research participants and assistants on how to run the study. But overall, you generally want to do some kind of research if you can. And it's definitely harder to do research at a smaller school, maybe a liberal arts school. So when if you are in the process of deciding which college to go to, you can go to land grant universities. These are often public institutions that receive extra funding for research opportunities and scientific projects, that kind of stuff. So you can like look into the departments, the schools to see which schools receive more funding, which have more opportunities for you guys to get involved in. But overall, you kind of want to do a research experience where you can talk about it in an interview and tell the people on the ad comp how you contributed.